Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to bypass the Google verification on Realme 14T. To bypass the Google verification which um, is which happens after you factory reset your phone uh, using the recovery mode and it was earlier locked with a lock screen password um, and a Google account then this is what shows up during the setup and of course if you don't know the lock screen password you won't be able to enter it so let's click on cancel now wait a moment and Google verification will show up so you can enter the Google account credentials that was previously um, here before uh, the device was reset and if you don't know that as well just click on the back button a few times by the way in the process um, you might have noticed that was uh, the uh, there was uh, Wi-Fi so you have to be connected to Wi-Fi in order for everything to work here and once after connecting to Wi-Fi you go to the screen with um, the lock screen password or Google verification then you should start going back to select language now click on emergency call and type in asterisk pound 899 pound now go to manual test slide at the top to camera camera test and take a picture now now once the picture was taken click on it in top in bottom left corner agree and continue now click on share then i don't know if you can see it but here are different options you need to select google search image now click on three dots in top right corner and go to privacy policy now just click on use without an account in crown and now click on these nine dots at the top to select search now you'll need to search for a uh, hard reset dot info slash bypass Once you've found it, go to Bypass FRP, which is Fact Reset Protection, and scroll down until you can find. Um, I went somewhere. Okay, never mind. Uh, until you can find Setting App, click on Open Setting App. Now go to Home and Lock Screen. Then. Uh, go to home screen layout just click on it and you'll get to the home screen now what you should do to actually bypass the verification here is go to clone phone app click on that now click on this is the new device allow uh, all the permissions here and you'll have an option you'll you you will need a another Android phone that runs at least Android 12 um, and uh, is unlocked you can honestly borrow it from someone because we will be technically transferring data but we'll will be just transferring like one app like calculator or something so on that phone if you if you're not sure if it runs Android 12 go to the settings find about phone or something like that then you'll find Android version in my case it's 12. Now I already have the clone phone app but if you don't have it go to the Play Store. Now in the Play Store you'll need to search for Oppo clone phone app, download it, then open it. Now click on scan the QR code to connect. Of course, if you have an Oppo, Realme or OnePlus phone, you won't need to <clears throat> download the app because you already have it. So um, you'll need to open that app and select transfer data from this device. 
because this is the new device, this is the old device, technically. So, um, here I'm gonna open scan the QR code. And by the way, you might, you may, and you will get asked about some permissions. Uh, permit to all of them. Uh, whatever it asks you, just permit to that. Uh, then click on scan the QR code. Click on OK. Now I'm gonna select other Android, but if you are using Oppo, Realme, or OnePlus, select that. And now let's scan the QR code. Now it'll start connecting. Of course, it'll ask you for some permissions during that. Now unselect everything here besides apps. So leave only apps selected. We don't want to transfer all of these things. Just click on next. Now click on apps. Click on it just to open this sub menu where you can unselect everything by clicking on the selection button in the top right corner. And now select anything honestly, like calculator, Google TV, or something like that something small, something not important. Click on OK, then click on Next. Now understand the cons uh, content on this page and click on Start mi Migration. Now it'll start migrating. Click on Done on the older device. I'm gonna move it away. We won't need it anymore, I think. Now uh, on the Realme phone, simply click on Done. Then skip unlock method, click on later, scroll down and click on agree, select gestures, click on done, click on get started. The last thing is to click on later here and um, click on yes. And now your device has bypassed the, mm, the Google security, uh, uh, the Google uh, verification, and you can use it. I hope that this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one.